person was killed after a car crash in the front yard of a Kirkton Court home near the intersection of Village Park Drive. This is South Sacramento. The two passengers taken to the hospital according to Sac Metro Fire. ABC 10's Monica Coleman is at the scene with details on what happened here. What a mess it was early this morning. It was, it was chaotic this morning. That car was literally in the backyard of the people right behind me. You can see now that fence has been repaired by family and friends, but that was not the case this morning. That car veered itself into the fence there, and there was so much glass splattered all across the front yard, and you could barely get to the front door. We did speak with people who were in the home at the time. They say they couldn't even hear the crash, but they came out to see that car in their backyard, but they are safe. Nobody was injured inside the home, but one person is dead today after a car crashed into the backyard of the Kirkton Court home near the intersection of Village Park Drive. Two people were taken to a hospital and they are in critical condition according to Sac Metro Fire. While house sitting for her uncle, that's when the woman inside the home tells me that she came outside to see that the car nearly missed the front door. Our fence is missing a big chunk of it. Uh, the, we thought the home had been hit, but the trees just got hit a bit. Um, but for the most part, it's just the fence is gone. We're going to have to repair that. And there's just a lot of debris everywhere. The fence has now been rebuilt here. You can see the fence is now standing strong where that light colored wood is. That's where the hole was in the fence where the car went through. But this is actually a tale of two homes. Take a look back out here live. You can see where that accident happened this morning. That's the house you see on the right here, the blue gray home. But onto your left where that red fence is. I was talking with the neighbor. His name is Josiah Head. He said just five weeks ago, Walt, that another car crashed into his fence. It cost him $300 to repair. He told me that this road here Vintage Park Drive is busy at night during the 3 o'clock, 4 a.m. hour. That's when people come out here and they're speed racing. They're doing donuts, uh, many illegal activity. And he says that more speed bumps maybe need to be put in this area to help um, deter drivers who don't live in this neighborhood from speeding up and down this way. I do want to note this. There's a school just down the block from here. So you're supposed to be going about 15 miles per hour. And there is a speed bump about two or three miles from where I'm standing. But that's not stopping people. I've been watching all morning people speed up and down here. Mm. No regard for any of the neighbors in the area. Yes, yeah, speed bumps are great. Um, fire departments don't always like the speed bumps because that's a deterrent for them to get to and from uh, issues and fires and people who are in need of medical assistance. But it, it is, you've been on a very busy straightaway there, Monica Coleman, indeed. All right, thank you, Monica. And now to the latest following the FBI search.